So first, I'm at my Mac and I'm going to launch a document in the brand new Pages 09. So this is a document you can imagine in my spare time, I'm a rocket scientist and I've been studying exploration in space and I can look through my document and yeah, I think it's really good now. I'd like to get some other people giving me some feedback on it, so I want to share it with some others. To do that, I'm going to use iWork.com and there's a button now in the top of the new iWork applications, pages, numbers, and keynote, just says iWork.com and I'm going to click on it and I've set up my account in iWork.com. I'm going to send a note to someone that I'm sharing this with. So all I have to do is type in their email. It sees my address book so it knows when I start to type in Tia who that is. I'm going to type in a subject. Please check this out. Thanks for reviewing it. So I'm going to send this to Tia. I'm going to click share. And now what Pages is doing is creating the different formatted versions of, of this document and sending them up to iWork.com all automatically and it's done. Okay, I've done it. It's sent off a notification to Tia, it's up there in iWork.com and that's it. It's that simple. So what's it like on the, on the viewing side? What, what does Tia see? Well, I'm going to switch computers up here and now I'm on another computer and I'm, let me just log in. This is Tia's computer. Different desktop, you can tell that's Tia. And next time Tia's in her email, what Tia's going to see is a new message from me. The, the message I just sent, please check this out, tells Tia that she's been invited to view this document, the Phoenix Mission Report on iWork.com. Tia simply clicks View Document and that launches Tia's browser. And again, th this is amazing. This can be a Mac or a PC running any of the popular browsers. Uh, Safari, I think the coolest browser, or Firefox, or IE, or whatever Tia uses, and this is what Tia sees. Tia sees the document. When you have to stop for a second and look at this, because it looks like pages, but I'm actually on iWork.com. Tia can read the document, go through the different pages. Tia can decide to uh, leave a note to me on a section, maybe select this point where it says the friction causes the spacecraft to heat up to about 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. Add a comment. What's this in Celsius? So Tia can leave notes back to me. And there can be multiple people viewing the document and they can leave notes to each other about the entire document. So on the right hand side, Tia can say, I've reviewed it. It looks great. And post that note for all of us to see. And most, most importantly, on the right hand side is this download button. So Tia can now click that button and if Tia wanted to edit it herself, she could open it up in pages if she has pages of nine or as a, read it as a PDF file or even as a Microsoft Word file. So you're now sharing documents with other people who don't have iWork but they can all open and view the documents too. So it's a really great way to share these documents around. So that's what Tia gets to do. Let me go back to my computer. So here I am back on my Mac and I want to see the different comments coming in and communicate with those people. Well, I'm in pages and under the share menu, there's a new item there that says show shared documents. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me in my browser to iWork.com to see the same shared document. So now we're all looking online at that shared document. And right here is a list. I have more than one shared document. So I'm going to see all the documents I'm sharing. The top one is the newest one the Phoenix Mission Report, and there's a blue dot next to it telling me there's a new note there that I need to read. So here I am, I'm online seeing the same document Tia's seeing. I see an orange tab on a page telling me there's a new note there, and there's Tia's note, and I can reply right in the note, I can write back in the document wide notes. It's all right here for us to collaborate together. Let me go back to my shared documents list. So I have pages document, keynote documents, numbers documents, as many as I want, I can share here on iWork.com. So for example, let me click this keynote document. And there's a keynote presentation that I've shared online via iWork.com. Beautifully rendered, just the same way it is in my own uh, version of keynote. And I see all the notes from the different people. We have four other people viewing this online and sharing notes together. So that's what it's like using iWork.com, a great online service for sharing and collaborating on documents.
Now this is the beginning of a new service. It's something that we're going to find out together all the great things we can do. Customers can sign up free for the beta. In the end, it'll be a fee-based service, but for now it's a free beta to collaborate with us. There's a place where customers can send in their comments and tell us how it's working and ideas they have for how it should do it, how it should work. And, um, and I think there's things that we haven't even discovered that can be really powerful. For example, this is a lot easier way for me to send you a document rather than trying to send big files through email. It's also a great way if I want to get to documents anywhere in the world. I can put some of my important documents there, and I can go up to any computer, go in the browser, and get access to those documents wherever I need them without even taking my computer with me. So a lot of really powerful ideas in this new iWork.com service. So again, it's a beta, and it launches today. And as a publisher, you get to it via the new iWork uh, 09 applications that started shipping today. So that's the second thing, iWork, in addition to iLife, 